right, now then, what about Lee? Just remind us. Uh, this is Pam. She once uh, walked into a hotel room to find me in her bath. <laughs> so why were you in her bath? Because I was in the wrong room. How did you end up in the wrong room? I ended up in the wrong room because I locked myself out. So when... you thought you'd just pick anyone? No, I went down to reception and yeah. told them this. I yeah. said, I'm in... I've locked myself out. And they said, oh, what... So just go in Pam's room. <laughs> <laughs> they, they said, don't worry, she's, uh, she's at a wedding with her owl. She'll be all right for an hour. <laughs> uh, they said, um, what room are you in? Gave them the room number. Didn't realise I'd got the room number wrong. Ah. Uh... Yeah, but yeah. you've gone in the room. Correct. Haven't you noticed that that your suitcase is not there? No, you because could, I... I the... And you just went straight in the bathroom like a nutter. No. You just went <laughs> straight... <laughs> I had, I had checked into the hotel a few hours earlier. I was very late for a show I was doing. I put my suitcase just next to the bed and ran straight to the show. You go in the room. Yeah. You go immediately into the bathroom. You haven't gone into the main bit of the room... Correct. ..in a way which would be, there's no doubt, more normal. Have you ever needed the toilet desperately? Yeah, but you, did, you went to the bath, not the toilet. <laughs> hey, I'm from up north. I can double up. Yes. <laughs> so you Naked, you're in the bath. Yeah. Pam Watson. Yeah. What happened? I got my headphones on. I'm chilling out to a bit of whatever. And then I think I hear a click, if I'm going to be honest, at the time. I'm thinking. And it's Pam cocking a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Pam. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm lying there. And she, she comes in. Right. This must have been a very upsetting moment well, for both I... of you, but particularly for her. No, How that's particularly for me. Particularly for me. No, sir, not for you. No. For you, the company was a plus. No. For her. No, 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 no. no. How did no, she no, react? No, 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 no. I, as far as I'm concerned, I'm in my own bath. Who's going to be the most upset at that point? Were you exposed in the bath? Oh, no, no, I put bubble bath in, because even I can't stand the sight of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened then? She stepped out. At this point, she's on the phone now to, to, to reception, saying, uh, there's a man in my bath. So, when I went round the corner to have it out with Pam, I see female clothes strewn everywhere, and I don't like being in the wrong, so I just went, well, somebody's very untidy. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I left. She wasn't happy until I turned at the last moment. I said, just as the door was closing, I just put my foot in that arm, wedged it, I went, would you like to come on, would I lie to you? <laughs> All right. We need an answer. So, David's team, is Pam Victoria's pet pal, Rod's owl <laughs> owner or Lee's bemused bather? I think Victoria, because Pam looks like a pub owner. She <laughs> looks like she could handle a tap. Yeah. Oh. She could that night. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? I think it's I think it's Victoria. Also, I don't believe a single word Lee or Rod <laughs> says. Yeah, so that would be a good reason to go for Victoria. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't believe the bit about me even having a bath? No. <laughs> Look at yeah. <laughs> I'm going Victoria. You still I'm think Victoria? I do. I'm very worried about this. I think it might be Rod, but we're going to go for Victoria. You're going to say it's Victoria? Yeah. OK. Pam, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Pam, and Rod threw a Wellington boot at my <laughs> <laughs> Rod's owl owner. Thank you very much, Pam. <laughs> Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies, and we start with... <laughs> it's Victoria. I once came to blows with someone over the correct way to pronounce the word scone. You mean scone? <laughs> scone. OK, David. I think you got to the root of the issue. Yes, there. yes. Um, you came to blows, did you say? What happened? Um, Jane at school asked us all how we pronounced the word <laughs> scone. How old were you? I was 14. 14. And, and why was you debating scones? 
Um, <laughs> was this not an issue at your school, Jamali? No, I think we grew up differently. <laughs> 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 Define come to blows. Um, I pushed Helen Webster against the lockers. <gasps> what about Jane? What about Jane? Jane had said, "How do you pronounce gone?" Yeah. And I said, "Scone." And then blooming Helen Webster. <laughs> and then <laughs> Helen said, "Oh, if you pronounce it like that, you're a snob." Or a snob. Or a snob. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you pronounce it, David? I would pronounce it scone, and I think the reason I pronounce it scone is because I'm a snob. <laughs> <laughs> I think scone sounds less snobbish. There's something about yeah. yes. scone. No, I think, yes. sounds... I think scone is quite no. like oh, I'm scone. having a scone. I'm having a scone. I'm having a scone. Oh, isn't it? Scone is common as muck. <laughs> what do you say? I say whopper. <laughs> <laughs> I think eating scones is kind of snobby in itself. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying I ever ate them. I, honestly, this is the first time I've ever even heard of a scone. Are you joking me? I've, I've, no, I was saying it for comical effect. I have oh, sure. <laughs> I have scones. And they're very nice with a bit of cream and jam. <laughs> What do you think? Is she telling the truth about this? It is an area where, you know, that pronunciation is linked to people's views on class. I find the way you pronounce class quite posh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I am famously exceptionally posh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I'm like the poshest person on earth. That's my whole <laughs> shtick. I eat nothing but pheasant. <laughs> yeah, that's... And when he says so, pheasant, you know... he means a peasant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And yet, and yet you say scone, like us. Yeah, yeah because, yeah. It, because yes. I hate to tell you, that is the posher way of it saying it. But you say it's the posher way. I'd say 99.9% .9 of people say scone, like me. No, they oh. don't. Fight. Oh, fight. yes, fight. they do. Fight. 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 Give us a cheer if you say scone. <laughs> Give us a cheer if you don't know how to pronounce it properly. So there you go. That, I, I, might have, I might have, I might have that. slightly prompted I think you the witness. skewed that survey. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> So, what do you think? Is she telling the truth? <laughs> I, uh, well, what do you think? <laughs> How masterful of you! Thank you. <laughs> masterful. <laughs> oh, he's just... I want to push him against a locker. <laughs> and when I say locker, I mean bed and nails. <laughs> when you say bed and nails, you mean bed. <laughs> do you think it's true? So, I really like Victoria, but I think deep down within her, there is a thug. I'm saying true. Jamali, what do you think? Do you know what? Like, in my mind, I don't think people at private school fight like that. Like, I, that seems like something that happened in my school, like, push up against the locker. I expect more of, like, a glove slap and a duel. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say it's true. I think Victoria would be raging over scones. What's it going to be, David? I think we think it's true. OK, Victoria, it was a harrowing tale. Is it true or is it a lie? It is... true. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, Victoria did come to blows over how to pronounce scone. Oh, that noise signals time is up, it's the end of the show, and I can reveal that Lee's team has won by three points to two. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Good night.